Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya Okia. Welcome back to another episode of the Divine Destiny with Latoya podcast, baby. I'm so excited to be on this episode of the podcast with y'all. Come on in, come on in. So if this is your first time visiting us, baby, welcome to the family. Welcome to the Divine Ones. If you've been rocking with me for a minute, I appreciate you. Come on in, come on in. Welcome back. Come on in, come on in. (laughs) So um, I'm just so excited again to be on this episode of the podcast. It's, It's been a minute since I recorded a specific episode for the audio podcast. So it's always a blessing, always a pleasure, an honor to be over here because this is where it all started at, baby. It started on the audio podcast, <laughs> Divine Destiny with Latoya. This is where it all started. So I wanted to do this episode. I wanted to come in and just talk to you about something um, real quick, though, before we get into the message. Make sure if you are in this season where you are ready to get this body transformation, baby, because I'm so excited about this. If you're in this season where you're ready, you say, I'm ready to change my body. I'm ready to get that transformation. I'm ready to drop some of this excess weight, some of this stubborn body weight. I'm ready to transform my body, drop this weight and get in shape. You got to join me for our Divine Ones 30-Day Body Transformation Challenge. We're going to kick it off on May the 1st, 2024. Is going to run throughout the full month of May. You're going to get the opportunity to meet with me and my other coaches live every single week on Zoom to get the information, get the knowledge, get the tips, get the tools, get the strategies that you need to create a lifestyle. We're giving you the knowledge and the strategies to help you develop a lifestyle of healthy living, a lifestyle of prioritizing health and wellness, a lifestyle of body transformation. Okay. So I want you to join and the pre, the pre-launch sign up, the pre-order sign up is only $25. So I say it all the time, baby, as my grandma say, you can't beat that with a stick. All the value that you about to be getting inside of this challenge, you're going to want to be a part of this baby. It's only $25. Find the link. If you're watching from YouTube, go in the description right now. I'm on a mission, baby. I'm going to help 500 divine ones in the month of May to drop that weight, transform your body and get in shape. So go below in the description. If you're watching from YouTube, click that link right now and go ahead and register. Spots are selling fast. Last time I checked, baby, they was going quick. Divine ones ain't playing. So when we hit that 500 mark, we're going to cap it. Because God say 500 for the month of May. So if that's you, join us. If you're listening from the podcast, all you got to do is swipe up, go to the show notes, click the link in the show notes, and register right now at LatoyaOkeaAcademy.com for the Body Transformation Challenge, baby. So I just had to drop that on y'all because I'm just so excited about that. And then I want to talk to you about something that God put in my spirit that he's been having me do that I'm really kicking myself because I'm like, why I ain't been doing this? Because I, I should have been doing this. And God had me to come on the podcast and speak to y'all about it today because it's something that God may be pulling on your heart to do as well. So this one simple thing, one simple thing that I just recently started doing that has already helped to transform my life my business, my spiritual walk, pretty much every aspect of my life. This one simple thing that I stopped doing, and I want you to challenge yourself to stop doing this as well, or I'll say to start doing this, this one thing. And it is all centered around the path to becoming better. This God is leading you down the path to becoming better. He's leading you down the path of righteousness. He's leading you down the path Uh, that he has for you, that has all the things with your name on it, all the things that he's, that he has declared to be yours. He's leading you down that path to becoming a better you. You are becoming the divine one that God has created you to be. That's what all of this is about. That's what all these messages that I do on the podcast, all these videos I do on my YouTube channel, all the books that I've written, journals, masterclasses, courses, seminars, everything that I've ever done is all centered around 
helping you become the person that you were divinely created to be, to reach your full potential in the kingdom of God, the path to becoming a better you. And so it's so, it's so crazy. Well, you know what? It ain't even crazy. It's God. It's so God that I would be downstairs today as I'm recording this episode of the podcast at the desk that's downstairs and I have a journal that's sitting on this desk that I've actually been looking for this journal and it just wasn't, I guess it just wasn't meant for me to find it until now. So I'm down here. I look over at the journal as I'm about to record this episode. I open the journal and the very first page of the journal is talking about the path to becoming better, the path to becoming a better you. And it's a journal entry that I made last year in November. It's dated November 15, 2023. 3.51 3.51 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the first question that I have up there is, what parts of my daily life need to change for me to achieve my goals? This is huge. This is huge. And this is something that I want you to do as well. I want you to journal this. I want you to put, ask yourself this question. When you think about your goals, when you think about your aspirations, your dreams, the things that you aspire to do, your goals that you have set for yourself in life, break this down and ask yourself this question. What are the parts? What are the parts of my daily life? So once you set your goals, once your goals have been set, your spiritual goals, your mental goals, your emotional goals, your physical goals, your financial goals, business, you know, parenthood, any areas of your life where you set goals for yourself to become better. After those goals are set, you then have to start going inside of your days because how you're going to get to that goal, your goal is a series of steps. It's a series of days that lead up to you accomplishing that goal. So you have to go inside of your day. So you ask yourself this question, what parts of my daily life need to change in order for me to achieve my goals? And I'm about to get to the one thing that I want you to that I want you to start doing that I just mentioned. So the answers that I wrote down for this question, what parts of my daily life need to change in order for me to achieve my goals? The number one thing I wrote down was my screen time needs to go down. I need to begin to set more boundaries for myself. And that leads me to. The, the one thing that I want you to start doing, which is going to drastically improve your life. And that is when you go to bed at night, I want you to take your phone <laughs> and I want you to put your cell phone in another room. Put your cell phone in another room. Do not go to bed with your cell phone in the bed with you. Do not go to bed with your cell phone right next to your bed, right next to your, on your nightstand. No, it does not need to be in the same room as you put your cell phone in another room, come back to your bedroom, lay down, go to bed. Just that simple. Just that simple. Something that God put in my spirit. He'd been telling me to do it for the longest. I ain't even gonna lie. I had been being disobedient. And a lot of time we'll think because, oh, well, I heard God when he said it and I'm going to do it, but I just haven't done it yet. Well, delayed obedience is disobedience. So if I tell my child to do something and they heard me tell them to do that and then they acknowledge that they heard me and they going to do it. But I come back two hours later and they still sitting there and they hadn't done it and I told them to do it right then. That's disobedience. And it doesn't, it, at that point, it's not, oh, well, mom, I'm a, I, I, I was going to do it. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to finish this right here. Then I'm do, no, delayed obedience is disobedience. And that's what God reminded me of. That's what he reminded me of. So he's saying, okay, I spoke this to you, but you, you heard me when I said it, but you ain't been doing it. So you're disobeying my word. I don't want to hear that. Oh, well, I get to it. You know, I, I well, I know I need to put my phone in another room, but I just hadn't really been getting around to it. No, God say, do what I said. 
If you want the blessings, if you want what I have in my hand, you got to obey my word. You got to do what I say. And it ain't just about the blessings, but it's just about that connection to God. If you want that true connection, that true relationship, that true bond with your heavenly father, you got to do what he said. So this one simple thing that he shared with me and he, and the reason he's got me sharing this on the podcast that, that thousands of people is going to hear this is because it's not just my word it's for you too. And you know, if it's your word, because if it convicts you that if it convicts you in some type of way that when you get up in the morning, you grab your phone, you're looking at emails, you're looking at text messages, you're looking at phone calls. If it convicts you when I tell you that you sitting up late at night and you're not getting sleep because you're scrolling on TikTok, because you're scrolling on Instagram, because you're looking at YouTube shorts. If it convicts you when I tell you that it's hard for you to go to sleep at night because you're overstimulated because you're, you're giving your brain you're, you're giving, you're giving too much information to your brain. So it's hard for you to turn your brain off at night because you're looking at videos on how to grow your business on how to, you know, have a better relationship with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, how to deal with a situation ship, how to deal with jealous friends, how to deal with coworkers, how to, uh, then you got prophetic words over here. Then you got, you know, information on how to make $10,000 in a month, how to get this, how to get approved for grants, how to get, it's too much information and you are overstimulated. And that's why it's hard for you to turn your brain off at night and go to sleep. So this one simple thing is going to drastically, you're going to see drastic changes. Listen, I ain't, it ain't been but two nights for me. It's only been two nights so far. And I already feel amazing. I already feel the difference. One of the things that I automatically saw one of the things that I picked up on immediately by leaving my phone in another room when I go to bed at night, when I wake up in the morning, I get up. I get up. That is so important because I noticed that when my phone is with me, when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm laying around in bed a little bit more. I'm laying around in bed a little bit more because when I wake up, I'm going to my phone. I'm picking up my phone. And yes, I do go to my, my Bible app first. And I go to look, like, look at this. Now, this is how we try to reason with God. This is how we try to make it. This is how we try to, you know, make it add up, make it make sense. Try to make, try to reason with God. God, like, uh, -uh, I ain't buying that. But this is what I had been telling God. <laughs> well, Lord, you know, when I get up in the morning, I go straight to my Bible app. I read my devotion first. I I read my scripture. I read my chapters in the word first. You know, I get my daily bread first. God said, uh-uh, put that phone in another room. Put that Bible beside your bed. Go to that word of God. Go to the physical word of God. Pick up that Bible and read that Bible. Yeah, I get the apps and all that stuff, but God's, and, and he said, that's all right. If you got to use that sometime, that's all right. But God say, I want, he said, greatness is old school. Greatness is old school. You can't update greatness. You can't, you can't, you can't add all these little trends and all these little tweaks and all this technology and all these apps and stuff. You can't do that with greatness. Greatness is old school. You got to put it in the slow cooker. You got to cook that thing old school. You got to go back to the old recipe. You got to go back to the principles of God. It's okay to use apps and technology for convenience, but you got to take it back to the old school. The Bible says you got to write the vision and make it plain. It ain't say text the vision and make it plain. It ain't say uh, put the vision in an app and make it plain. No, you got to take that thing. You want greatness. You want success in the kingdom. You got to obey the principles of God, baby. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all things will be added unto you. We got to take this thing back to the old school. And it's really not old school. It's just, it's just the, the principles of God, the timeless principles of God. But we get so caught up in new technology, new age technology, apps, convenience, all of this stuff that we try to, we try to put God in an app. We try to put him in, as a convenience. But he say, uh-uh, you got to take it back to the old school. What you need, car? Y'all hang on one second. Let me check on car. What you need, baby? Um, um, yeah, you can get a snack. What kind of snack? Graham crackers. Uh, yeah, tell Tate I said give you some some graham crackers. 
Y'all excuse me, I'm mothering. <laughs> That's the real of the real. Close the door, Kari. I'm recording the podcast. I'm mothering. That's the real of the real. That's what we do over here. I ain't editing because I got to look right after I finish this episode. I got to upload it and I got to, I got to go drop them off. Uh Uh-uh. Go tell her I'm, I'm recording, baby. Go ahead. Right after I finish this episode, uh, I got to get right back in mama duty and go drop them off. So this, this is what we do, but this is what I wanted to share with y'all that me doing this one thing. Me doing this one thing, leaving my phone in a separate room and going to bed at night, it has allowed me to show up better with my kids. It has allowed me to be more patient from just two nights. Then, like I said, it has allowed me to get up in the morning. I'm not laying around in the bed, scrolling on my phone. I'm getting up, taking it back to the old school. So when I get up in the morning, I get up. I don't lay around in the bed. When I read the Bible, when, when I read the word, when I get my word for the day, I go to the actual word. God said, go to the actual word, go to the actual Bible. Get, and when I get up in the morning, now my mornings are not going to be spent scrolling on my phone, going through apps. My mornings are going to be spent meditating, praying. My mornings are going to be spent on my knees in worship with God. My mornings are going to be spent with my blue ink pen and my journal writing in my journal, making up my bed, slow mornings with God. Let's normalize slow mornings with God, with no technology, with no apps, getting up in the morning. I'm telling you is it is luxury. It is spiritual luxury at its finest. It is the type of spiritual luxury. Listen, this is the type of luxury that ain't even going to cost you no money, but it's going to make you feel luxurious. It don't cost no money, but it makes you feel luxurious. It, it, it's like you soaking in the abundance of God. You having a soaking session in the morning with God. Getting up early in the morning, no phone, no screen time, no technology. Phone is in a whole nother room. You got to put it downstairs, put it, in, put it downstairs somewhere, put it in the car somewhere. Somewhere where you know you're not going to get up and go get it. And then normalize slow mornings with God. Getting up in the morning, taking your time, doing your skincare routine. Getting up in the morning, taking your time, taking your shower, take you a hot shower. Get up in the morning, take your time, get your journal, get your blue ink pen. Ask yourself that question I just gave you. What parts of my daily life need to change for me to achieve my goals? I realize that my brain is overstimulated. I'm giving my brain too much information. I got to cut it off. Like information is good, but you also got to know when to cut it off and when to go to sleep, when to rest in God. Your body needs to recover. Your spirit needs to recover. We got to lay, we got to know how to lay down and rest in the Lord. And so it was God that I turned to this page in my journal What parts of my daily life need to change for me to achieve my goals? Number one, my screen time needs to go down. I need to set boundaries for myself. You know why it's so hard for us to set boundaries with other people? Because we don't do it with ourselves. We don't set boundaries with ourselves. I must be the first partaker of the fruit. When I'm strict with myself, I ain't even going to say strict. I say firm. When I'm firm with myself, When I set boundaries with myself, when I don't let myself off the hook, that will allow me to be more firm and to be more on my boundaries when it comes to other people. I'm not going to let other people try me now because I don't, I don't even let me get by. If I said, I'm going to put my phone in another room, that's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to stay. So set boundaries for yourself. The next thing I put down Number two, eliminate scrolling, eliminate all the doom scrolling, stop doom scrolling. You know what I do now? If I want to scroll a little bit, I told myself, Toya, if you're going to scroll a little bit, you got to be walking while you're doing that. You got to be on your walking pad. You got to be up moving. You do that while you're moving. You do that while you're up getting your steps in. If you want to look at a few shorts or you want to look at a few reels, if you want to kind of, you know, get your little get your little dose of scrolling in here and now, then you need to be up walking. You need to be doing something productive. And so what I did was I took a habit that was kind of satisfying to me, like scrolling here and now. And then I took something that was going to be a habit that was going to be productive. I I actually pulled this from Atomic Habits by James Clear. I pulled, uh, I got a habit that 
is going to be productive. That's going to, that's going to help me get closer to my goals. And then I paired it with another habit that is not so productive, but is, but is relax, not relaxing, but it's fun. Like it, it, we scroll like that. We go through the shorts, we go through the reels, we go through the TikToks to those of you that do that. We do that because it, it gives our brain a hit. We get a hit of laughter. We get a hit of, of entertainment. We, so it's, it's doing something for the brain and it's okay to get that sometimes, but it's when we do it too much is when we're overstimulated that it becomes a problem. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to make sure that when I'm doing that, I'm going to be walking. I'm going to be up being productive. I'm going to be walking outside or walking on my treadmill or my walking pad or on my mini stepper. So I paired it with a habit that's, that's productive. And so I know that anytime I'm scrolling, I'm also getting my steps in. I'm also walking. I'm also being productive. And I don't do that all the time, but just sometimes I'll pair that. I'll pair those two together. Then my number three, what parts of my daily life need to change for me to achieve my goals? My number three is to wake up with is waking up with no structure or planning. I used to wake up every morning with no structure, with no plan. So by me leaving my phone in another room, that allows me to wake up with more structure. That allows me to wake up with more planning because when I put my phone in the other room and I get ready to go to bed, I'm already journaling out my plans for my next day, my structure for my next day, my intention for my next day. When I wake up in the morning, I wake up with that intention. I wake up journaling again. Uh, how do I feel? How did I sleep? So it helps me to be mindful of what's going on in my body. See, when you wake up and you grab your phone, you you haven't even checked in with yourself to know how you're doing, what's going on, what's on your mind, how you feel. How do you want to feel today? How do you want to contribute to the world today? How do you want to serve in your purpose today? So leaving your phone outside of your room and tablets, this goes for tablets, this goes for iPads, laptops, any type of technology leave it outside of your room. Don't go to bed with it and don't wake up with it. You got plenty of time for that during your day. Okay. So I journaled this back in November of last year, months ago, this was like six months ago. I journaled that these are the parts of my daily life that needs to change in order for me to achieve my goals. Oh, and look at the other one I wrote, commit to waking up at a set time every day. Boom. Y'all, this is amazing how just doing this one thing, leaving my phone in another room while I'm sleeping, I'm hitting all these targets just by doing that. And then look at the, the next one, spiritual. I, I put that I need to pray more, meditate more, journal more, speak my affirmations daily, work out, walk, walk at least 30 minutes each day. Well, that's back when I was walking 30 minutes. Now I'm walking 10,000 steps a day. That takes me about an hour and 30 minutes. But I'm hitting every single one of these just by leaving my phone in a room separate from the room that I'm sleeping in. I'm able to get up and pray. I'm able to get up and meditate. I'm able to get up with my journal. I'm able to get up and speak my affirmations. I'm able to get up and review my goals. I'm able to get up with structure, with planning. I'm able to get up at a, at a set time every day, at, a, at an early time. I'm able to have a slow morning with God. All of that just by leaving my phone in another room. So I challenge you to do this one thing and you're going to see drastic changes. Because if I if I only been doing it for the past two nights and I've already seen changes, you definitely going to see changes when you do this. And you're also going to see just how much your phone has had a strong hold over you. Your brain is going to think of 99,000 different reasons why you need to have your phone with you. But I can tell you one good reason why right now is because it's going to set you on the path to becoming better. It's going to set you on the path to becoming the person that God has created you to be. This is one thing that you can do. This is one part of your daily life that definitely needs to change in order for you to achieve your goals. Because you achieve your goals by the little things that you do every single day, every single night. It's not one big move. It's the little consistent things that you do every single day, every single night. So I challenge you to do this one thing and you will see transformation. And another thing I'll share with you before I end this episode, the first night I did it, 
the first night I did it, when I tell y'all I went to sleep so fast, I have, I don't even, I don't remember going to sleep that fast in years. I went to sleep so fast. And then when I felt like I was at home in my bed, in my bedroom at, at home, but spiritually, I felt like I was at a resort. Like the, it, when I tell y'all it was so luxurious and it was so peaceful and it was so calming. Yes. My brain was saying, uh, go get your phone, go get your phone. You know, somebody might be calling you. Somebody might need you. Yes. My, my brain was saying, um, you know, you, you're going to miss out on something. And that's another thing we be thinking we're going to miss out on something. We ain't missing out on nothing. We ain't missing out on nothing. You're not missing out on nothing. That can't wait till in the morning when you go back and get your phone. You're not missing out on nothing. Your brain will try to make you think that, you know, you just got to look at this one more thing. You just got to watch this one more short. You just got to watch. You, gotta, you, just, you just got to read this one last email. You just got to look at this one last picture. You just got to talk to this one. No, no, you're not missing out on nothing. You got to slow down. You got to turn your brain off. You, you might, you might be making moves. You might be growing. You might be transforming. But if you don't learn how to rest, if you don't learn how to rest in the Lord, if you don't learn how to turn your brain off, if you don't learn how to stop thinking about your business all the time, stop thinking about your bank account all the time, stop. You got to learn how to turn your brain off and let God drive the car. Rest in the Lord. That is very, very important. And that is that is a part of your transformation. I'm telling y'all, start leaving your phone in another room. You're going to feel like you at a spiritual resort somewhere. Your spirit is going to feel so luxurious and you're going to feel so peaceful and you're going to feel so calm. And I want you to rest in that peace, rest in that spiritual luxury that your father is driving his car while you sleep. He's driving. He's taking care of things that you don't even know about while you're resting in him, while you're sleeping in him. The enemy wants you to stay up all night with a blue light in your phone, stressing and overthinking. Uh, I mean, with a blue light in your face. He wants you to stay up all night with a blue light in your face. Increase your screen time because when you increase in screen time, you increase in stress. You increase in cortisol. You Cortisol is the hormone that produces stress in the body. You, you increase in all that stuff, which is contributing to being unhealthy, being overweight, being out of shape. So we got to learn how to rest. That's important to your body transformation is rest. Put the phone in another room. I was fighting this for a long time. God told me, he said, you, you got to stop this. You got to stop. You got to stop saying you heard me and you ain't doing what I told you. Do what I told you. He said, whatever it is, whoever hit you up, whoever, it can wait. It can wait. We be so stressed out trying to get back to people, trying to respond to everything, trying to call everybody, trying to get back to everybody. Can it can wait. Put that phone in another room. Turn your brain off. Go to sleep and rest in the Lord. And you're going to see transformation. When you wake up, you'll find that things have just happened. Things things have just happened. Things have just, it, it, it done been worked out. By the grace of God, it done been worked out. Because God was taking care of everything while you were sleeping. But you got to rest. Put that phone up. I love y'all so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Keel. Don't forget to click the link below and sign up for the Body Transformation Challenge for the month of May. We kicking it off May 1st. Make sure you go ahead and secure your spot before we close it out because the tickets, the seats, the virtual seats are going fast. It's only $25. Come on in. Come on in, baby. Swipe up from the podcast and go to the show notes. Click the link. If you're on YouTube, go to the description. Click the link and sign up. I want to see you inside. Okay. And remember, if you can meet me in Florida, Tallahassee, Florida on June the 7th, 2024, we're going to be live and in person in the room for the divine one seminar. If you want to meet me live and in person, now is your chance, baby. Now is your opportunity. I want to see you in the room. Come on in, come on in, click the link. Also, you're going to see it right down by the body transformation link. Click the link to join us in Tallahassee, Florida, live and in person for the Divine One Seminar. We're gonna, I'm going to be giving you the knowledge, the tools, and the strategies that you need to be successful in your life, your business, and your spiritual walk, okay? So I want you to be a part of that as well. If you can join us, click the link and sign up. I love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed.